Good morning. COVID-19 is creating hardships for families across the country. Regardless of the virus and the current unemployment numbers, people still have bills to, to pay, but there are ways to receive help. A recent survey conducted by the U.S. Census Bureau showed an estimated one-third of renters across the country are expected to miss their August rent payment. In Texas, that number is even higher as 39 percent of renters responded they weren't sure they could afford to make rent this month. And then there's people, unfortunately, who are unemployed. And there's about 30 million Americans today that are getting some sort of, you know, uh, supplemental income from the government. Ryan Morphin, CEO of Wentworth Management Services, says part of that reason and into the $600 a week unemployment benefits on July 31st. That amount now estimated at $300 to $400 after a recent executive order signed by President Trump over the weekend. I think a lot of people uh, were depending on that extra income to, to make you know, their savings plus reducing their expenses. Uh, to make the rent payments and so they've been using that money for rent payments but now that it's no longer there we're going to start to see a lot of pressure build up for landlords. Morphin says since businesses were also relying on the CARES Act more layoffs may be coming soon. If you find yourself unemployed he says to first realize you're not alone. Take a look at your budget and savings and start cutting back on expenses. Then make sure to have an honest conversation with your landlord. Landlords, depending on what kind of debt they have, they may or may not work with you. Second, make sure to cut back on food expenses. You really need to, to watch food security. And so going to churches, food banks, getting on food stamps, going for your social safety net benefits, making sure that you're able to you know, reduce your expenses on food consumption. And third, he says to prioritize your internet, phone, and car bills because most of online recruiting for jobs today is digital. If you can't come up with an agreement or if you're not able to come up with a payment plan, there is rental assistance available in Texas. Also, Legal FAQ lists rental rights in your area and letter, has letter templates to send to your landlord. Back to you.